time for the Yummy Wizard, Jules, Rommel, Mesa, Conductor's Engstrom this time. Special addition or edition? <laughs> the three headed wizard. This is the wizard's Part first threesome. Two. You, you, guys, get, get, you guys can't hold me in the same hole. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Two first times, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a cigarette. Like before, now is your chance to learn anything in the universe. What would you like to learn? Any questions for the wizard? What are stars made of? What are stars made of? What are stars made of, Oracle? You see, stars are made of a combination of many things. Snakes, rattlesnakes, snails, hookers, <laughs> stardust, gummy bears, and Kool-Aid, and popcorn, and vodka, <laughs> and whiskey, and tree sap, and milk, juicy, delicious, creamy, frothy milk, and cookies, <laughs> and fruit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Why do birds sing so gay? Birds sing so gay because they're gay. And that is why they always sing happily and high and incessantly. <laughs> and you see, they're happy. And that is where we got the term gay. Actually, that's true in the first place. So, so in the first place, why these birds are so gay all the time is because, well, they obviously travel in groups, and you know what happens when you travel in a group? You have know, <laughs> sex with everyone. You know, <laughs> sex and therefore, really, uh, you have pretty much no choice but to be happy. Laid and laid and tweeting, then tweeting and tweeting. And you start tweeting about how you got laid, and then you start tweeting about how you can get laid some more, then, then you get laid more. <laughs> then you just keep getting laid, and everybody that follows your Twitters are just amazed at how much you're getting. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, uh, <laughs> birds sing gaily because because they get laid. And that's about all I can say. Because <laughs> wouldn't you sing if you got laid all the time? <laughs> In a cage match between Stevie Nicks and Sarah Palin, who would win? Cage match between Sarah Palin, what was the other one? Stevie, Stevie Nicks. Nicks. And Stevie Nicks, who would win? <laughs> you see, Sarah Palin would win the, the first time because she's buff and from Alaska. And she also rocks way harder then the rock star because she thinks it's written in the Bible. And if you have the Bible behind you, you will whoop ass and not even question it, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> just keep spouting whatever. Because you're just so freaking awesome because you got the, <laughs> <laughs> the Jesus flowing through you. <laughs> However, Stevie Nicks might win round two because she also rocks and has lots and lots of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and her and her drugs are so awesome and make her so uh, much more genuinely rocking than Sarah Palin that uh, 
Uh, are, are you still playing this? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Many more number one songs. Number one songs versus Jesus. Who could, who could <laughs> make more ice where Sailor Palin comes from? Because Sailor Palin is so damn sorry, damn <laughs> proud of her Jesus that flows through her, and she gets laid <laughs> just like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Called a quarter pounder and a cheese in France. <laughs> what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? <laughs> what do they call a well, they call a quarter pounder of cheese a pretty motherfucking good. <laughs> Chose magnifique. C'est terrible pour les gens, mais c'est magnifique pour le stomach. Et oui, ça c'est vrai. Let me translate for you, because that's <laughs> what we're trying to say is that it's a pretty damn good mother. <laughs> Let me translate some more, because it's such a good damn motherfucking. <laughs> should we tell them what it means? Absolutely, we should. In France, a quarter pounder with cheese is called wait. <laughs> wait for it. Keep waiting. <laughs> A Royale. Keep waiting and waiting and waiting. It's a Royale with Fromage! <laughs>